For the four years after college, I was fortunate enough to work for one of the best investors in history, billionaire Ray Dalio of Bridgewater Associates. What I want to share with you today is one of my favorite lessons that I learned from Ray. And it's about one of the most common mistakes that investors make. But it's also something that if you understand it, you can implement it in your everyday life and it helps you become more successful with everything that you do. Here's the big idea. Far too often, a lot of people are thinking about the stock market or other investments and they'll say something along the lines of like this. Japanese stocks are going up, or the price of gold is, is going down, or interest rates in the US are falling. So what's, a common, what's the common factor between all of those three ideas that I just shared? Every single one of them used the verb in the present tense. It was, they are going up, or they are falling, or they are going down. And when people speak, in that way, where they're using a verb to say that something has a continuous motion, rather than saying something like, it happened in the past, or I am discreetly making a prediction about what will happen in the future. That is a huge mistake, because in reality, there is no such thing as the price of something is increasing, or the price of something is decreasing. And investors, their entire job, what they're getting paid for, is realizing how to use verbs in their mind correctly. They can only look in the past and say what has happened with something, and then their job is to make a prediction about the future. So how do you use this in your everyday life to be successful with just about anything you do? You can be very particular about how you are speaking to yourself and how you are speaking out loud about what you're doing. So for example, one of my favorite um, examples that I that I use on myself is if I'm gonna let's say I'm swimming in a really cold pool and then I want to go over to the hot tub I don't know about you but jumping into a, a really hot hot tub just it feels I know it's gonna feel good eventually but in that initial moment it's like oh my gosh and it doesn't feel so good what I tell myself nowadays the way I get myself to do it without having all those terrible feelings is I commit to to stepping into the hot tub, and I actually intentionally use the present tense verb, and I say, this is happening, I am going in, and I commit that I, I sort of pretend like I'm like on a conveyor belt, and that it's out of my control, and that I'm just going in slowly, or at whatever speed, but I just know that that's gonna be what's happening. And for some reason, making that mental adjustment and, and using the present tense of the verb makes it so much more possible and so much more comfortable and it's you know you remove that feeling of like am I doing this or am I not and that's the same with sort of achieving any goal you can intentionally use the present tense saying like this is what I am doing I am certain about it also if you want to be less negative about something less self-critical you want to be very particular about the verb tense that you use and in, in that case, you want to make sure that you say it only using past tense. So you don't say something like, I'm not good at remembering people's names, or I very often drop the ball. Whenever you catch yourself saying something like that, just change it so that it's completely facing the past. And you say, in the past, sometimes I've been inconsistent, or sometimes I haven't followed through, or sometimes I've forgotten people's names. That leaves you the possibility to say, but not anymore. And it's not just semantics. Like This is important to catch how you're talking to yourself, how you're talking about yourself, how you're talking to others, because that sets the intention in your mind for how you're actually going to behave. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash ryanwalshcoaching, and also you can subscribe to the helpful stuff that I send out in email at ryancwalsh.com. Also check out my number one best-selling book at worklessprofitmore.com. Hope you have a great day.